find the x-intercepts of the polynomial function. Here we have f of x equals x to the fourth minus x squared. So to identify the x-intercepts, what we are looking for are real zeros of this polynomial. So to find zeros of a polynomial, we need to factor it into linear factors, and set each linear factor to zero and solve. So this shouldn't be too bad to factor. There's already a common factor that's pretty easily identifiable as x squared. So I'll factor out that x squared, which would leave me x squared minus 1. And then the remaining polynomial factors by the difference of squares, so it will become x minus 1 times x plus 1. So the zeros of this polynomial are x equals 0, because that comes from this term right here. But because of this square, that tells me it has multiplicity 2. And then the next 0 is positive 1, because if I take this item right here and set that to 0 and solve, I get positive 1. There's no exponent here, so it's understood to be 1. So that means the multiplicity of that 0 is 1. And the last 0 is negative 1, and its multiplicity is also 1. Now, because these are all real numbers, that means that these are also the x-intercepts. If we had had any solutions that were non-real, so if they involved plus or minus i, those don't get counted as x-intercepts uh, because they're not real values. Only real values also qualify, only real zeros qualify as x-intercepts.